guys, Cindy out of here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Um, today I want to talk about these Flow um, Book for Paper Lovers. I pick mine up either in Books A Million or Barnes & Noble. Um, they are actually from the Netherlands. They're printed in China. But the book, the one book is $30.99. Now, I've had people say to me, oh, I'm not going to spend that much money on, you know, a book of paper. But what I love about these flow notebooks or these flow um, book for paper lovers is the amount of stuff that you get in one book. Okay, I've done a lot of harvesting out of this book. This is kind of cool. These little butterflies pop up. You just push on the back of them. And it's just... I don't know, something to put in a frame. Um, anyways, I, I have done a lot of harvesting out of both of these books. And as you can see, there's still quite a bit of stuff in them. Um, here's the other one. They're, they run about an inch thick. Uh, there's just, there's so much more stuff in here. There's more paper. There's more um, different images and letters and pop-up things. I mean, I won't use the pop-up, but I can cut this all apart and use every bit of it. Um, even the back side, you know, look at the this here. So, so I mean, there's, there's these guys in this one. There's so much stuff in here that, you know, when, when I go to pick one up, you know, I don't, yeah, it's a lot of money, but there's a lot of stuff that comes out of it. And I just want to show you a little array of things that I, these, everything here has been taken out of these two books. Um, and then some and I don't have it all because I use it but one of the things I want to show you is um, the the issue one of these issues had this envelope pattern and what it is is just a full page of paper and then it has this pattern drawn on it that you just cut around and then where you fold to get this cute cute little envelope all right now there's also pages of little tags just like that there's pages of stickers, little, um, I don't know, address label stickers. There are, this one had um, these small stickers in it, this orange small sticker. And I'm going to sneeze and I apologize, pardon me. Um, and then they have other types of stickers, right? So out of these two books, these are all the envelopes I got. I believe there's a dozen in each book. All right, so these are awesome. Here's some more of the stickers. And again, they there's always pages of stickers. And it's just a little bit of everything. And if you're doing the grab and glue, this book is phenomenal to work in your grab and glues. Because like I said, there's just, it's really cool. Um, now each month, I'm sorry, or each book, I'm going to move this aside just so I can show you these. Um, each book had a calendar in it. And look at this. I mean, how you could so easily just take this and put it, you know, in your um, journal and use one of these pages each month. And again, these are, of course, I have two different books, so there's two different calendars. But aren't they cool? And of course, they go all the way to December. But I'm thinking myself, I'm pretty sure these are going to be um, start using these in my journal because I think that'll help a lot. So there's a full year calendar. That came out of those books. Um, these came out of the books. These are just beautiful paper patterns on one side. There's a pink and a yellow and a blue. Another pink, green, or green I should say, red, purple. Okay, and then on the other side, there's all these really cool pictures. Again, this is grab and glue wonderful stuff because I can actually cut these out, okay, still have two pieces of really cool scrapbook paper, take these and color them in and use them as a focal point on my grab and glues or use it as a focal point on an art journal page, right? I just think they're funny. And they're just little drawings. So my plan is to actually um, cut them out and then um, I think I'm a Derwent watercolor them. There's a camera, a London bus, Hollywood, and a taxi. So these come out of there. All right. Um, one of them, I'm not sure which one, 
but this is a set of borders again stickers which I want to keep these out because I want to start using these so actually I think one came from one and one came from the other book so there's and then when you're done with the borders look at the paper on the back so those I'll be using then this is just like I said this is just a portion of it you have all this paper now even if you let's say you know that one was about a person swimming all right let's see well at least it looks like people swimming um, and let's say you had nothing to do with water you're afraid of water you don't like the water you don't like the pool whatever you can still use this this is a great quality paper to use for um, jelly printing so if nothing else definitely use it for jelly printing use it to write a letter to send to a friend use it you know for background collage but I think what I'm trying to just let you know is that there is so much paper in these books and it's really cool paper you can always find something to do with it look at those look at those cool old pictures <laughs> aren't they neat again I'll probably cut them out but that's alright this one's got tissue paper in it um, some of them are double-sided some of them are not I mean just really interesting paper that you don't find um, all together in a spot like this Oh, bag phone the RC I mean it's just amazing so the whole point to this video is if you get a chance to and you see one of these books and you are able to afford it um, there's just a ton of stuff in these and like I said I still have pretty much a whole book here and that's with all the stuff that I've harvested out of it already so look at this this is a this is something you could have your kids do which is actually kind of cool it's where you what do you call those dioramas I think is what they're called where you actually cut the stuff out and then stand them up I mean there's just so much stuff in these oh they also have there's one other thing I didn't show you this paper that what they'll do is they'll take some patterns in the book and they give you huge sheets of it. How cool is that? So you always end up with big sheets. I love this one. Um, I'm just not sure what I'm going to do with it. It may end up being a, a cover on a journal. Get it open. Look at that. Not beautiful. So yeah. Um, like I said, if you get a chance to pick up one of these journals and uh, or one of these books, you definitely will get quite a bit of use out of it just in the paper alone. Um, you know, like I said, there's also calendars, stickers, borders, tags, postcards, um, you name it, it's in here. All right. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope it gives you a little bit better idea of what's actually in one of these flow books for paper lovers. And um, as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. I'll talk to you guys next month. Bye.